What's up, dragon fruit lovers? Hey, I just want to do a quick update on this long 50-yard trellis that we're doing. As you can see, the plants are topping the trellis. Here's pink panther. We also have sugar dragon right here. And as you go down, you can see that pretty much every one of them is poking through the top now. If you go back a, probably a couple months, you can see when I planted these. I've done quite a few updates. And you would... Uh, see that they were probably only about that high so you know talking about 18 to 20 inches maybe most of them there's Maria Rosa one of the few that hasn't quite got there but as you can see probably in a week or two it'll be over and right now we're just putting all our energy towards trying to kick these things up and over the trellis as fast as possible so what we're doing is using a lot of fertilizer we're hitting it with grow power we're hitting it with some gypsum, really good soil, really fast draining, sandy soil. We're doing it all the right way. We've uh, been doing this dragon fruit thing for quite a long time and we've made a ton of mistakes. So we're pretty much using everything we've learned to try to do this the right way and it seems to be working. As you see, here's a uh, Bruni. Bruni is well above the trellis. We've got Dark Star well above the trellis. So as you see, you treat them right, they will grow fast, especially in the warm season. So here's physical graffiti. This is one of the few that hasn't quite made it, but it's going to make it soon. Here's that uh, G3 I got from Paul. And we just noticed there was a bud growing right there. So this guy seems real happy. Lots of new growth. So this was the big plant we moved from his house. And now it's looking great. This is the hypodermic. This is one of Paul's unique seedlings that he grew out. The fruit was really good. I believe he's starting to sell cuttings of that. We've got Frankie's Red, Kathy Von Arum. Here's K, Kaslau. The fruit on here is phenomenal. Really good. Super jammy. It's got great, great characteristics. And then I got a few down here. This is Paul's Laverne Pink. We also have Cosmic Charlie and what was the other one? Oh, gosh, I forgot what we planted down here. Oh, Connie Mayer. Yeah, so this one's the Connie Mayer. So I'm covering them up with the boards here because it's been super hot and I just took these out of the greenhouse. And as you take them out of the greenhouse, it hits with a lot of UV. I'm a little worried. I'll show you why because I actually lost a few plants. Maybe not lost, but they look pretty bad, so I'll show you that in a minute. But yeah, things are going quite well. You see the trellis is filling out. All right, I'm also setting up this area here under this tree. We need a nice shade area. This will be a in between uh, from the greenhouse or rooting to uh, the trellis or just kind of stuff that I have extra of. I'm gonna put it out here. And we just need a, a spot because the greenhouse is filling up. But this will provide a nice clean area, kind of keep everything nice and organized and separated. So this will be uh, like in between the greenhouse and the trellis area. And a quick update from the greenhouse. I actually cleaned it out because we had a lot of cuttings that I had a redundancy. So I already had them on the, on the trellis. So we just had extra ones. I was moving them outside. And in the greenhouse, we're just going to make room for cuttings to root. This is only going to be for rooting. So you see we have a bunch of G3 cuttings right here rooting. And up here is my table of, of uh, cuttings that haven't gone on the trellis yet. But they will. So we're going to have probably like 10 more posts going in. So that will house all of these right there. We've got a few down here as well. But I am going to just basically root in here and our systems have been working really well so this should be fantastic moving forward all right and then finally here's an example of what a lot of uv in a hot day can do to your plants and i uh, took a lot of these out of the greenhouse because i don't have a spot for them as of now and i put them over in what i thought was going to be a nice safe shady spot but there's just enough area of sunlight coming in right up there and we had a really hot day last week and you can see that this stuff just got all fried out. Um, it'll probably still live, but yeah, it's severely damaged. It might rot and 
you know, look pretty gross for a while. But this is an example of why when you take them out of the greenhouse, they're not quite uh, tough enough for full sun. So you definitely want to, you know, give them a little in-between step, a little bit of shade, which I thought I was doing, but I guess this was a bad angle for too long. And I also think a lot of these cuttings right here were because this black pot probably got extremely hot and I don't have a lot of soil in here because they were just cuttings that, you know, I had a lot of extra, so I just chucked them in there. So that was a mistake on my end, but I should be able to salvage most of these and fix them right up. So, all right, y'all. Well, you have a good day, and I'll see you again next time.